What's up and welcome back. In this video, we are showing you how to properly upload a YouTube video uh, to include tags, to include SEO optimization, titling, thumbnail, boom, 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 everything. All right. So stay tuned. Um, we are in the back end of a client's YouTube channel here. Shout out to dudes with experience. And we're going to come up to the very top right. Now, it doesn't matter if you're on YouTube's homepage, if you're uh, on your channel, or in this case, we're in the back end studio, you're going to come up to the top right and click create. All right. We don't want to press go live uh, unless you're looking pretty. We want to click upload videos. All right. And you can simply drag and drop videos or you can select files here. Um, let's go ahead and select files and then it's going to pop up this window. And your job is to locate the file that you would like to upload. All right, so we're going to click this episode one video YouTube and go ahead and click open. And the cool thing is as this video is uploading and you can check the progress here in the bottom it says uploading 0%. We can go ahead and uh, title this and start working on it. Okay, so this is going to be the most important part is titling it and adding a description. So this is actually a podcast episode. Uh, so we're going to copy the title of the podcast. I would recommend looking through YouTube, checking out all kinds of different titles, seeing which videos have a lot of views, which videos have a little views. See what you can learn from the titles of the videos that got a lot of views. All right. Um, I've posted hundreds, if not thousands of videos to YouTube. You know, I've had videos that sink and don't get a lot of views. I've had videos that, you know, hit multiple millions of views. Uh, so this process is going to walk you through, you know, the right way to do it to give yourself the best shot possible. All right. So 19, um, the episode title was trying out for the ultimate fighter, uh, fighter, which is called tough with Tor Lewis. All right. Okay. So there is a maximum of 100 characters uh, in the title. A lot of popular titles don't really, they're not that long, okay? And then desc the description. This is where uh, keywords are most important, all right? So within the first sentence of the description, for SEO purposes, it's gonna be awesome to use uh, as many keywords as we can for from the title. So I would assume people are looking at the ultimate fighter or they're searching for tough. Um, so I want to include that uh, in the very, very beginning. Okay. The ultimate fighter um, tough. See how I did that in the very beginning? That's the start of my sentence because that's the primary keyword that I want to get out there into the world. And I think if people are watching a lot of tough videos, which, you know, as we know, people do, um, this one might pop up. That would be dope. All right. So the ultimate fighter tough is a popular um, show uh, promoted by the UFC. And so we're doing keywords here. So I'm going to actually put TV show. Okay. Because people might be using that word promoted by the UFC and Dana white. Got to throw white in there. He's a name that we might want to catch. We could catch a few eyeballs from only fighters, popular TV show promoted by the UFC and Dana white. Um, and I'm looking up at the top again, but, and I want to use the same exact titles here, trying out for the ultimate fighter again tough is um, I'm gonna say the process but the process for trying out for the ultimate fighter is not commonly shared boom Okay. Now we also want to tell uh, Google that, and remember Google owns YouTube, that uh, this is a video. So I like to go in this video. Um, again, we want to hit Tor's name because his name is in the title. Tor Lewis shares his experience of 
and again the same exact thing trying out for the ultimate fighter and i guess the is capitalized because it's the name of the show tough uh when he was 47 years old um tor was the oldest person to ever attempt to get on the show and although his story didn't and although he was unsuccessful the story remains dope dopeness you guys get the point okay so you could go on for 5,000 words um, you could add links to the episode uh, the more links that you do add to various websites other videos um, that you've posted other channels the internet and Google works as a spider web so the more things you can try to connect to the more things and potential have chances to connect back to you the main thing is the keywords okay in the description um, description actually helps you uh, more than the tags all right so the tags of course help you know I have some automated tags that I can add it is important I'm not going to do it in this video, but it is important to have, you know, that first keyword, the ultimate fighter as the first tag. All right. Um, so that is the process you want to check. No, it is not made for kids and you want to select a um, season, for example, or a playlist. If it is part of a current playlist. You can also upload a thumbnail. The thumbnail needs to be under two megabytes for it to work well. Um, or otherwise, you're going to have to check out another tutorial on this channel, which is how to decrease the thumbnail size using a uh, thumbnail compressor. You can find that from uh, imagecompressor.com if you want. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Um, allow embedding. That's all fine. If other people want to use this content. Okay. And that's the process. We can go ahead and press next. Add subtitles. Uh, reach a broader audience by adding subtitles to your video. You can do that if you'd like to. You can go in and type. Um, you can go in and type subtitles uh, for your video. You can type manually. Um, there's different options for you to try to add subtitles. Or you can add them before you upload in Premiere Pro or Final Cut, whatever software you're using. And um, then we have the option to add an end screen. So you can click on an end screen. It will show a subscriber icon and best for viewers and then click save. So we've gone through subtitles, end screen and cards. Adding an end screen and adding cards. All these things are going to help the chances that your video gets seen and gets out there. Um, it is not just a way to encourage people to check out other videos. It's also standard YouTube uploading practice um, that checks boxes for YouTube's algorithm to see if videos have cards, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, because their goal is to keep people on the platform as long as they can. So videos that do all of these things, they're going to say, hey, man, these guys know what they're doing. Let's keep showing their stuff. So video playlist, you can add, you know, all kinds of um, different cards if you want videos I will tell you right now perform better than playlists so let's say you know somebody like this episode they want to watch the last one somebody watch the last one they want to watch this one etc etc all right we can add two cards call it a day and go ahead and press next press next and you can schedule this to go public I'm just gonna say unlisted for now because this video has still got an hour left to upload or you can schedule it uh, to make sure that it goes live at a specific time when your audience is watching your YouTube channel for example all right 
Before you publish, check the following. It says, do children appear in this video? Um, looking for overall content guidance, etc., etc. All right, let's go ahead and press save. And that completes this tutorial. Your video is uploading. You can click close here. Um, you can come over from your dashboard. Make sure again you are in YouTube Studio. You can get to YouTube Studio by coming up to the right and making sure that you are um, in YouTube Studio. Uh, oh. If you're in your channel, for example, you will see YouTube Studio appear here. If you're in YouTube Studio, you will see your channel appear here. And we can come over to content. All right, now we can see that that video is uploading. And once it's uploaded, we can go ahead and change it from unlisted to public. All right, hopefully that helped you guys. Drop a comment if I missed anything that you need clarification on. And we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.